know what the problem is, though, Chris, is that for basketball, there's no really equivalent to that, right, Jay? Like, no. there's no pro day where you're going, you're like, wow. Look at that release for three. Like it's just nothing like that in the NFL, though. Oh wait a minute! Now, wait a minute! To now, Al, no, you you do have something like that in what basketball. Do do? I mean, listen, when Steph Curry is coming out of the tunnel and he's shooting three pointers from the tunnel, that's something. It is. Yeah. You do have something. individual yeah. workouts though, yeah, that, that are kind of something. centered that way. Like, I have yeah. never watched the NBA Combine. Well, it's not draft. I mean, this is well, this yeah. is football. Yeah. yeah, you know how we. Like, this is football. This is a this, this is America. Football. This is America. <laughs> this is America. Okay. We're watching the pro day for Zach Wilson. I watched all two hours of it, damn That boy it. can ball. All two hours. Like, that's how they made you feel like you needed to be there. Well, listen, the kid has got some unbelievable physical attributes. No question about it. And that throw that he made when he was fading to his left, throwing back across his body to the right, that's about as good a throw you can make with no pass rush, with no defense out there. <laughs> Means yeah. the one that Sam Darnold threw <laughs> exactly. with defense on yeah, the field? Yeah, the one that he threw with season? the defense on the field, but his team was also down by 30. So, I mean, context matters with these I things. Mean, but, that's but when you there. look at what Zach Wilson is bringing to the table, there's a lot to like. But that pro day is just for talent evaluators around the NFL to check all of the boxes that they had um, penciled in for the evaluations that they had made on the player up until that point, right? Like you're looking for the confirmation of everything that you've already seen on tape from Zach Wilson. That's what you wanted to see at the pro day. Does he have the arm talent? Can he make all the throws across the field? How does he look when he's throwing? There is some value to it. Now, it's not as important as some people might hype it up to be, but you know that as we get closer to the draft, things get amplified. Mm -hmm. All of the talk around Zach Wilson and what he can be and potentially being the most talented quarterback in the draft, even more so than Trevor Lawrence, because that talk is out there now. What you say? That, that is what some people are uh -oh. saying. Like You know how the hype builds up as you get closer to late April when teams actually start making the pick. So I just think that, that, that pro day by Zach Wilson, that was just a byproduct of what we've been seeing or what we've seen in past years where teams are always, you know, hyped up, yeah. you know, around the guys that they're wanting to take. The CC, excitement. can we talk about my Windy City? Can we talk about Chi-Town for a second? Let me, let me, let me spin this around because this is why okay. I feel like it's about to happen. Okay. So Mike Tannenbaum comes on our show. He says that, hey, it looks like Joe Douglas is in love with Zach Wilson. Yeah. That's going to be his guy at number two. So I, I automatically go to what's going on with Sam Darnold. I think Sam Darnold is an incredible talent. Mm. I think, unfortunately, he's been dealt a very bad hand. You and I both know, as pro athletes, the situation you go into, to a major degree, exception for the .001%, like, that determines your success. Yeah. And I feel like for Sam Darnold, he hasn't been dealt a great hand. I think the Chicago Bears need to make a move for Sam Darnold. I really do. I, I think he could be a guy that can help them in the future. I, gr granted, they have some issues they need to address with their O-line. <laughs> they have a lot of other issues, too, that need yeah. to go on. But I still believe that if you want to have somebody that can come in, a young talent, that can compete with a guy like Andy Dalton for that QB1 that they tweeted out the other day, I feel like that person could be Sam Darnold. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. The potential is there with Sam. You just hope that the, same, the change of scenery and putting a different infrastructure around him brings out the best in what he has to offer. That being said, I don't necessarily know that parachuting him into a situation where Ryan Pace and Matt Nagy are on the hot seat is going to, to lead to Sam Donald being the best version of himself. I, I don't see that happening. Now, I will say from the potential and from the upside standpoint, it does make sense because if you're the Bears, I don't think you're, you want to sign up for Andy Dalton being your QB1 for all 16. Yes. I don't think that's going to lead to them getting to where they want to be, and I don't think that's going to keep – that current regime employed. So it just seems to make sense if you can get Sam Donald for the right price to have that as an option going into training camp. But they should not be satisfied with the quarterback position right now by any means. I, I just want Ted Phillips to step in here and say, we're doing what's in the best long-term interest of the team. I'm not worried about your job, Matt Nagy and Ryan Pace, for the time being. Like, Sam Donald can help us in the future. But the key, the key words there from Chris was for the right price. For the right from price. From Joe Douglas, the price has to be high if there is a market for Sam Donald. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.